Hello. Hi. Please introduce yourself and tell me what are you doing here in this awesome hat. I appreciate that. The hat's from Italy and I'm from Los Angeles. My name is Kevin Williams and I'm a producer, writer, director. And for this festival, I brought my festival film, Blood Type, hopefully for people to enjoy and uh, to get a nice message delivered to them in the form of a dramatic comedy. I've been here last year and so were you. So I've seen your movie. Yes. What made you want to show it again? Well, I feel like um, the message itself, as I've been told, stands time. And it's because it's timeless, it always works. So when an audience member who's not seen the film sees it for the first time, of course, they get the message for the first time. So they get to enjoy it for the very first time. And I enjoy spreading that message as widely as possible, of course, as a filmmaker. So you want to reach as many audience members as you can and hopefully lift their lives to a higher level as well. So what is the message of blood type? Well, blood type I mean, is... we obviously have to watch sure. it ourselves, but you know... Blood Type is a dramatic comedy and a social satire. And the real thrust of the movie is it's about the audience, but the audience doesn't realize it until the end of the movie because the audience falls into the same trap as the main characters of the film. And the, the real message of the movie is not to be caught in the trap of stereotyping because so many people do that habitually. And that's a personality flaw that I think we need to address because there's a lot of walls that are created between people just based on false assumptions or misinformation or some stereotype that's learned as a result of a cultural imprint on their psyche. So blood type addresses that issue with the human psychological factor and hopefully shifts people's thinking in a way that they're more open and objective about interfacing with anybody globally, locally, personally. Well, talking about bringing down the walls and building some new bridges, this festival has been amazing yes. in terms of c communicating and connecting so many different cultures. Yeah. You know, we were here in Patch, mm -hmm. and we've just witnessed an amazing performance from Bahraini delegation. Mm -hmm. I'm a Russian interviewing an American filmmaker, mm -hmm. and it goes on and on. So yeah. there's more. What, what, like, what forces this festival? What, what forces? keep the festival going and what inspires it? Because I know you're much more involved mm -hmm. with the festival this year. You helped co coordinating the LA gang uh, mm -hmm. to come here. So you, you're a behind the scenes player just as much as you are a guest and right. a filmmaker. What is your personal takeaway from all of it? Like what's making Seven Hills International Film Festival such a diverse right. and culturally daring uh, establishment? Well, the Schiff Festival um, has positioned itself with this particular year's success as I think one of the top tier world festivals. And there are a lot of people out there who uh, actually don't realize what they've missed by not being here this year, but they will be able to enjoy it next year when it becomes even more successful. But when I arrived and, and got involved in it, I was completely blown away by Laszlo Tote's um, ability to pull this together and um, the speed that he pulled it together the accuracy and the precision, but all over, and the artistry of it. Because when you have a, a, a festival like Berenale or Cannes, you have a, a level of expectation of the events and the quality of what's going to happen and what your experience is going to be. And for Laszlo to be able to recreate that in this location is extraordinarily successful. I think and it's you, just great. And you never know what's gonna hit you next here, basically. Yeah. Because you know, one night is this, the other night is that. And the program is very exquisite, very diverse. Yeah. So yeah, I think when, when we're talking about a big established movie festival that's been happening for decades, uh, it's kind of like there's a certain level, there are certain patterns. So it's harder to get excited about them because you know that, you know, oh, it's going to be the same, like, you know, red carpet, the gowns. Right. Somebody's going to make a stupid remark. Some right. big, like, European director is going to be, like, you know, put down because he says something racist. Something like that. But here, it's unexpected. It's new. It's fresh. So do you have any ideas of what should be added to the festival's DNA next year? Like, your personal request, really. Something that you think that, okay, I'll tell the organizers to keep that in mind for next year's right. to make the festival even more exciting, even more diverse. Well, the short story is that this festival has already exceeded my expectations. I mean, I've been completely shocked at how awesome this is, and it's way more than I had hoped for, actually. So there's very little that I would need to suggest right now that they wouldn't already be able to figure out because of the level of professionalism and who's involved. 
and not just the top echelon of the organizers, but every single person involved, the production crew, the editors, the assistants, the volunteers, everybody's just been top, top notch. And I haven't had any issues or questions or problems at all because they've been guiding all of our experiences with itineraries and everything exactly the way, way it needs to be done. So I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm interviewed, screenings happen. I see the screenings I need to see, the galas, the events, the fireworks, the lasers, the songs, the symphonies. It's all here and it's magnificent. If you could bring one of your favorite actor, director, musician, anybody, as a guest next year, who would you invite? Well, we need a Ouija board because I'd want to bring Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Might be hard you to do. You never know, Hungarian voodoo. Um, James Cameron, I think, would do very well here. Um, some of the more uh, known local folks like Schwarzenegger would be nice to have, of course. Um, you know, there's a lot of famous people who would certainly enjoy being here, but I think also the local community would really embrace them on a level that they probably haven't experienced before because it's a new, newer festival. And that, the fact that it's new creates a different energy about it that it can attract a whole different experience for folks who do attend. So for next year, we're booking a double room for James Cameron and Arnold Schwarzenegger that's going to be exclusively haunted by Hitchcock. Very nice. That's, that's a, a little teaser right. for you guys well, for maybe, next year. Maybe you can have your room booked right next to them and interview them as well. Yeah, all three of them. Okay. And then I'm excited to see what kind of hat you'll bring next year yeah. and what kind of yeah. good vibes you're going to be continuously yeah. spreading next year. Right. Thanks for coming. So thanks for having And Yeah, enjoy Blood Type, my feature film, and I hope you like it. That's the name of the film, Blood Type. I know I liked it. I've already seen it, but you guys have to do that too. Very good. Thanks, Mike. Take Michael. care. Thank you. Bye now.